I've been waiting for about an hour and a half for my tractor delivery and uh, I saw a glimpse out on the road just a minute ago of a look like a flatbed go by with a tractor on it but it's not here so maybe somebody else on my roads getting a tractor today too although I can hear what sounds like a truck coming up my driveway but it seems to be taking forever well I'm gonna assume that's the guy uh, while we're waiting though uh, I'll let you know that originally I was looking for a used tractor I realized after looking around though that tractors seem to hold their value and it didn't seem like much of a jump to go from you know a used to just buying brand new so that's what I did and also considering there were factory rebates and and zero percent financing it was kind of a no-brainer at that point now I see why it was taking so long looks like he's backing it in you know probably doesn't realize that uh, he's got room to turn around once he gets back here I guess he'll know for next time though there it is brand new Kubota 2301 there was the option for the 2601 uh, but I do have a lot of closely spaced trees out on the property that I need to get through and the 23 is a couple inches narrower and also I thought that the uh, upcharge for the couple extra horsepower was a little high hopefully that decision doesn't come back to bite me I did however get the quick attach for the front end loader at first I wasn't going to figuring I'll just add it later if I need it but then learned that uh, it's not that easy I would actually have to get a new bucket as well so that made that decision easier also my research told me that I wanted ballast in the tires for traction but also to help balance out the front end loader so I ordered the rim guard slash beet juice the next day I didn't waste any time getting to work I had a uh, pile of dirt I needed to move and fill in some pretty big holes around the property and even though this is my really my first time on a tractor uh, I was surprised at how difficult it was to get a, uh, a full bucket of dirt there was a lot of uh, tire slippage even in four-wheel drive even with the diff lock on it just seemed like I couldn't get any traction at all and granted it is spring it is a little muddy uh, but even so with that I just felt like something wasn't right I had some issues with the dealer uh, they should have called me to let me know they knew the driver went the wrong way and he was gonna be an hour and a half late the box plate had only been loosely assembled so it was dropping bolts when they got here and the paperwork was wrong and had to be redone so with that stellar track record in mind I figured these guys probably also forgot to put the ballast in the tires and I was right I checked them in nothing but error so I called the dealer and they did correct the issue however it should have been uh, done right in the first place but I actually consider the unintentional tire ballast experiment to be a good thing I had used the tractor in the morning the dealer came out that day uh, took it back to the shop put the ballast and brought it back the same day I then used the tractor again so the conditions were for the most part identical now I have experienced firsthand the difference between empty tires and ballasted tires the difference is amazing it's like night and day so now I know that uh, the tire ballast was money well spent I definitely have a lot more gription now when scooping dirt so I managed to find a silver lining in an otherwise inconvenient situation which is good because finding silver linings is something that usually eludes me